there are two types of threads foreground threads and background threads one foreground thread is already created for you when the program starts and the main function is called on that foreground thread after that you can create your own threads and either make them foreground or background depending on your requirement there are two such circumstances when you would like to consider making thread a foreground and those are if you have any ui uh, user interaction involved in the thread you should make that a foreground thread that is first condition second condition is if you have any cleanup requirements wherein uh, the thread is acquiring some resources which you need to clean up before by, uh, by the time the thread ends then you should definitely make it foreground thread otherwise for any silent operations you you can always make the thread background thread the main difference in their behavior is that uh, when the when all the foreground threads end the process ends so if any of the foreground threads is running the process doesn't end while as once all the foreground threads end the process ends even if any of the background threads are running and all those background threads they just die in the track that is wherever they are in their execution they just stop there and they die uh, none of the cleanup operations at the end of that thread even if they are in the try and fin finally block of the try catch block uh even if they are in the finally they are not executed even if you have any uh, using statements uh, those ob objects created in the using are not uh, destroyed are not cleaned up right away so that is the main difference so the background threads just die when the when, when the all the foreground threads end that's why i said in the beginning Uh, anything that involves user interface or anything that involves cleanup should be foreground thread otherwise you can make a thread a background thread so let's see uh, how we can make a thread foreground or background so here is the thread we are creating with 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 thread class we are starting it and we are printing press enter to end main thread and then we'll wait for the key and then we'll print a message main thread is ending and then in this thread function perform work we are having this infinite loop wherein we are printing hello from uh, other thread that never dies and we are waiting for key and every time we press a key we again print the same message so let's build it and let's see what happens and it says main thread ending and every time we press a key it says hello from the other thread that never dies this thread never dies because uh, we have put it in infinite loop so that's the problem with the foreground threads because when you created this thread uh, by using thread class by default it is foreground thread and if the foreground thread doesn't die your program is never going to die only way to kill this program is by forcefully killing it by pressing the close button here now if we wanted if we didn't want this to happen if we wanted the entire program to cl close when the main function ends we'll have to make this thread a background thread and the way to do that is we say t1 dot is background property you set it to true and when you set it to true this thread will become a background thread and it will end as soon as the main thread ends so here it says let's press enter it says main thread ending and then it says press any key to continue you press a key and the process closes so as soon as you make it a background thread the process just uh, ended now you can change the type of thread from foreground to background either after you create a thread class before you start a thread or you can even change it once you start the thread inside the thread and the way to do that is you can say thread dot current thread dot is background equals now let's make it false so we made it true in the beginning 
but then we'll make it false so it will become foreground thread at this point and then you will see that now it will stay alive even after the main thread ends so let's press enter it says main thread ending but still our thread is alive because now it's a foreground thread so this is uh, the thread has thread becomes by by default becomes foreground when you create it with the thread function but uh, when you create it with any of the other uh, uh, other methods uh, like uh, using task or using func delegate or using the thread pool uh, any of those methods create a thread on a thread pool and by default uh, that kind of thread is a background thread but of course within the thread function you can always make them foreground uh, so that's the difference between using thread class and using any other way of creating thread on the pool the difference is uh, always when you create thread using thread class it's always a foreground thread by default while as when you create thread on the thread pool it is a background thread by default